Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be diving deep into the gaming capabilities of the Oppo Reno10 5G. This device has been making waves in the mid-range smartphone market and today we're going to find out why. I've done a whole bunch of other videos about the device, the overview of it, and then I've also done one on uh, the camera. So if you want to look at that specifically, make sure that you check that out. I'll include that in the cards in this video. But full disclosure, this is a sponsored video. MediaTek is sponsoring it in collaboration with Oppo. But all my opinions and thoughts are my own as we showcase a bunch of games on the device and some of the uh, gaming features on here that are designed for us that love to play mobile games. In South Africa, the Reno10 5G is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 7050 5G mobile platform. This is a powerful chipset that makes a lot of the flagship features that you see in the Oppo Reno10 5G possible, although it's just a mid-range device. It's packed with faster 5G, something that you'll notice in the naming convention uh, of the chipset, and it's the workhorse behind the incredible gaming experience that I'm gonna be able to show you. It's a sturdy six nanometer chipset along with eight gigs plus eight gigs of RAM, that's totaling 16 gigs of RAM and up to 256 gigs of internal memory. Now, where did that eight gigs extra come from, you may ask? Well, that is actually a brilliant thing that they've done. It converts existing memory from the 256 gig ROM and converts it, some of it, into RAM, creating a much faster user experience when your device demands it. The two ARM Cortex A78 processors can clock up to 2.6 gigahertz, which is not just great for gaming, but also great for general use as well. The higher clock speeds allow you to play your favorite games at a high frame rates. And because the chipset also gives you a 120 hertz display, anything you play looks and feels amazing. It's buttery smooth. Then the ARM Mali G68 GPU is optimized to provide smooth everyday gaming experiences with more stable FPS in game while providing you with exceptional power efficiency. This configuration is more than enough to run today's most popular mobile games, like the ones that we're gonna be trying out in this video with little to no issues. Really like the back of this thing. Oh, I really like the texture on the back of this phone. Oh, so nice. When it comes to gaming, the Reno10 5G holds up really well for casual gamers. You'll appreciate the ability to play heavy games at ultra frame rates with HDR graphics. However, there is thermal performance that may become a concern after uh, extended periods of time. The Reno10 5G features a large 6.7 inch AMOLED screen boasting an impressive 93% screen to body ratio. Having a screen ratio like that is really important because it means that you are way more immersed in the game that you are currently playing. The phone's refresh rate sits at 120 hertz, offering smooth gameplay and quick response times. And for those of you who are in the know, some games like Wild Rift do support 120 frames a second and you want to be able to get that so you can actually push the frames more over the graphics if you'd like so that you get better performance 120 hertz does also make the phone feel a lot snappier and that frame rate is usually only expected to see in proper flagship phones the mediatek dimensity 7050 is is doing some really heavy lifting here Talking about extended periods of time to play games, it's got a hefty 5,000 milliamp hour battery. And the Reno10 5G ensures that you can game for extended periods without worrying about running out of juice. And when you do need to power up, this is one of my favorite parts, it supports 67 watt wired charging. So you can get up and playing as soon as possible. There's also something called Hyper Boost. There's a game engine mode. And what that does is it frees up different parts of the device so that your game performance is optimized. Here you can change different modes. So you can change the power modes of the device. You obviously, if you want more performance, you could press pro gamer mode. If you want the low power mode, it can then uh, drop the frames and make sure that you are getting the most out of your battery so you can play on for that session for a little bit longer. You can lock the brightness so that the screen isn't constantly changing brightness while you are playing. Uh, again, games like Wild Rift, that's really annoying because you know, sometimes seeing your opponent depends on the brightness of your screen. It's got championship mode. Now this is super interesting. What it does here is assumes that you're in a massive tournament, right? And because of that, it can lock off different things. So blocks calls, it blocks uh, any of the virtual buttons, you know, the swiping buttons. If you have to do like navigational gestures, it can completely block those. It blocks any alarm that is going off on your phone, which is really cool. And then it literally pushes uh, your performance improvement. So it will then stable the refresh rate, 
Um, it gives you uh, the ultimate touch experience. So that's your touch sampling, right? It makes sure that when you engage with the screen, it's going gonna, it's gonna to respond in milliseconds faster the, the most that the phone can possibly do. It literally pushes your phone to the max, just assuming that you're in a championship. Also, if you are a gamer that's creating content, this is a really good mode to do uh, as well because you can screen record from here. You can screenshot if you've done something that you want to share on social media. You can set up an orientation lock and you can also use network optimization. And like I was saying a little bit earlier, your uh, latency is super important when it comes to playing uh, games and having control of that could mean a death or a win, you know, and having network optimization just for your game is super cool. Another cool little feature is a voice changer. So here, if you want to sound different while you're in voice chat to other people, maybe um, you, you don't want people to know who you are or you just want to remain somewhat anonymous, that is a great way to do that. And then on the top, it shows you your temperature of your device, which is very important. It shows you how many milliseconds you are getting uh, in that particular menu scene or whatever the case is, and then uh, shows you where how much data is being, uh, being used. This mode is really cool. You can also add other apps to this gaming app tray, which I think is brilliant. So for instance, if you are playing mobile games with your friends on Discord, you can actually manually add Discord as an app here so that you can engage in chat conversations or join voice chats from your game without interrupting or leaving the game. You know, sometimes you'll minimize a game to go to Discord on your phone and then the game like either shuts down or disconnects from the server. No, you can have it literally as an overlay while you play. In conclusion, while the Reno series isn't specifically marketed for gaming, the Oppo Reno 10 5G proves that it's a really strong contender in the mid-range segment for gamers. It offers solid performance, a great display, and a long battery life. And if you're a casual gamer looking for a reliable device that won't break the bank, the Oppo Arena 10 5G could be a really great choice for you. MediaTek really made a great chip with the MediaTek Dimensity 7050. It has so many amazing features, making it a great option for gamers. The fact that you can have dual SIMs where you use the data from SIM 1 for gaming and SIM 2 for calling is also a great feature as you will never use your data accidentally and with Wi-Fi 6 or 5G, you will have a lightning fast connection no matter where you are. Thank you so much for watching this. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tech videos. And if you want to see more about the Reno 10 5G, I have done those previous videos. I want you to see them for yourself so that you can see what the camera performance is like specifically and the overall performance of the phone. I'm indubitably impressed. Is that it? That's an interesting word in that context. I'm, I'm impressed.